opportunity my task four. And I mean, this task four is all about task three, which is presenting my ideas that come to my poster. We're going to look at these eight things. It looks long, but it's not. I had, to cut, I had to unfortunately cut this presentation down from 41 slides, including the video, to 17 without video. And I really wanted to show the video because it portrayed everything that I wanted to be in the video into my poster. Right, introduction. Basically, I'm doing this for a copyright and piracy poster, and it's to really have like a... My view is I, I want an aggressive attack on the whole industry, and the, all the people who copyright and I make piracy breaches, because it is a very serious crime. Right, this is my second questionnaire, and I've had three sections. This is a disclaimer section, basically how old they are and all the information that I really need. And then this is more finding out more about them, like what colours that they need for the background poster. And this is finding out key specific ideas about types of fonts they want, and then like what kind of posters that they want. So this is results for my questionnaire. I've just picked five results, because they're the main ones, and I think they had the most impact on me. And this is because this shows that they want more images than anything else out of those five. This shows that they prefer simple font more than complex or handwriting. This means that they want to look at it, walk through, and to easily read it in like a second, instead of like going, oh, that's handwriting. So, <laughs> And then this shows that they want a white or black background. So this shows that it wants to be more clear, not like bright and too kind of childish as it were, as I wanted to portray a serious message. This, I think this was a quite success for me because I found out that everyone wanted a poster with images with that one. They didn't want lots of writing because as it would switch them off, they'd be more than a lot. With this, I actually like this poster because it portrays, I think, what I want in my poster, which is a dominant image with lots of text. But also the text is done and styled in this particular way that makes it so effective. And most people, as you can see, like the word of effect and use of images. Well, I want the message of my poster to be like, as I said before, an aggressive attack. Like, and to really clearly state that copyright breaching is wrong. Piracy is not only wrong, but it's inhumane. And uh, this is my favourite slide because it shows what I, I want the mood across. Once people read and look at the poster, I want it to have a very aggressive, strong, and like crushing moves. Like, you know, you must not do it, and if you do, you're not a human. Because, you know, you, don't, you have a lack of understanding. The colour scheme that I'm going for is, for the background, I'm, I'm thinking of doing a simple, ultra-clean, white or black, and also having some company like colours on it, like red or white and yellow, to even like, make it be more brighter. And I think the overall impact of including images, and in particular photos, is because you can have a lot of content, and also the more powerful, I can get more detail in the photo, whereas you can't with an uh, illustration or a cartoon image. And I want the style and the particular layout to be ultra clean, very simple, and you know it's meant to be easy to follow, and it's not far too busy and complex. And this is my mind map, and basically it goes through all the key points I want, and it's basically my brain on a piece of paper. My first draft was actually the, just the key concept because I wanted to split the whole page into it into the mini images of what the Paris industry is and then I had to like develop that idea and put like words in it so then quite heavy detailed and clear words so then you really get the fact that you need respect for the industry and then after that I decided to play around with fonts look at it and so like because through my research I've discovered that people do not like far too complex fonts and so it needs to be clear and easy to read. And then I started to mess around 
and really like develop my slogan at the bottom and at the top as well. And I really want to have a really strong and clear message and slogan. To conclude, Task 3 was really my foundations and it really helped me to develop my poster ideas. And I think the key thing I wanted to get out of it is this basic concept of what my poster will be like. Thank you.